I already have one project on jack stands. Let's buy another project car that runs and drives already. But before we really run and drive, we have to fix some stuff. Let's start over. This is my BMW 330Ci. It's a 2002. Uh, it makes about 220-ish horsepower. Uh, when I bought it, there were a bunch of known issues. It was leaking out of the valve cover, and the oil would go straight onto the headers, creating a huge cloud of smoke. Previous owner didn't want to deal with it, um, and I picked it up pretty cheap. It's relatively clean. It does have high miles, 220,000. There's one dent right behind that driver's side door right there. But other than that, it is in incredible condition for the age. I bought this thing on a Tuesday night, and the next autocross was that Sunday morning. So before I could take it to the autocross in good conscience, I had to fix the oil leak at least. Ripped it apart, put a new valve cover gasket on it, pressure washed underneath, and then ran some seafoam through it, and I was ready to go. I took it to the Willamette Motor Club autocross out in McMinnville, Oregon. I've been taking pictures of this club for a long time, and I know a lot of the guys who work it. Great club, come check it out. We're gonna see how 600 treadwear tires and stock suspension do. This is stick? Yep. I love this generation of 3 Series. It's, I think it's the last good looking one. I'm pretty excited. I got a good deal on it. It was smoking out of the valve cover. So that was all this week. <laughs> all right, ready? Yep. Go. So this is my first event in a very, very long time, uh, about a decade. And here I go ahead and just go and miss the first gate and then take the slow lap of shame back. But the next run's pretty good. Alright, you ready? Nope. Go! This one-two shift under load, you could feel the engine and transmission moving around. So as you could hear, 600 treadwear tires weren't quite cutting it. I was getting a lot of understeer everywhere and all of the body roll. Going over little bumps, it unsettle, and overall, it's about what I expected out of a stock car. Still, it was a blast. Again, this event was three or four days after purchasing the car, and like any financially responsible person, I got online and just started blindly ordering parts. We knew this suspension was blown, and so the cheap option was ECS coilovers, which gives us some adjustability. We also got white line sway bars to help dial in body roll and front rear bias um, as far as traction goes. In that last event, the shifter was super vague, so I got a PCM chassis mount shifter, UUCM double shear connecting rod, or shift linkage, and put all those in. We only had a few weeks before the next event, and I didn't film much, so these are just the pictures I have. Big shout out to Coyote Motorsports in Salem, Oregon. He was really helpful in figuring out how to set this up, as well as getting me Kumo VS 730s mounted on Koenig hypergrams before the next event. With the car all set up, I took it out to shake it down. I launched it, and because we have sticky tires now, the motor actually went and dented my hood because the engine mounts are so far gone they weren't even attached anymore. I got Condor Speed Shop, UHMW motor and transmission mounts, rush ordered them, and got them installed before making it up to PIR for my next event. This is my second to last run. It's the fastest clean run. The next run was run was a little faster but I got a cone. Overall with the new suspension, sway bar, shifter, everything feels so much better, so much tighter. 
I was fighting a lot of understeer and very little lift off oversteer. After this event, I went ahead and lowered my front suspension another like 10 millimeters to try and get some of that understeer dialed out. However, it feels fantastic. The stock rear diff is pretty high, it's a 293 to 1, and pulling out of these low corners, anything under 25 miles an hour in second, the torque is just not there. Yeah. Really good! That was the best run. And there's torque! A little bit, I fall out of it right up top, but... It was clean, clean yeah. run! That was good! Councilman Photography was there. Uh, she took these awesome pictures of me out on track. Again, can't thank her enough for grabbing these and then sharing them. Um, go check her out. I'll link her Instagram down in the description. Here is my last run. It was my fastest, however, I clipped a cone. But again, car's feeling night and day difference from what it was at my first event to now. So the event went great. There was some feedback though, like my low torque in the low RPMs could have been the Vanos unit, so I ripped that apart and rebuilt it. It was pretty loose. Uh, it is a 220,000 mile car, so it was ready to go. Uh, put that back in, again like I mentioned earlier, lowered the front suspension just a little bit. Uh, to break in the Vanos, you had to cruise at not beating it up uh, RPM, so went down, chased a Miata around. Eugene for a bit, which was a blast, and went and saw some street art. Now that the Vanos was broken in, I had a little over a week until my next autocross and decided to take the E46 over to a drag strip. As I was planning next year's modifications, I'd like to have a baseline for what it was running to see how much speed we actually picked up. Here we go through the beams at a 15.32, which isn't bad. The other reason I wanted to do this was to compare to my phone GPS, which also has a performance tracker, and my phone was 15.4 for a similar run a few days before, which gives me a lot of confidence in it, using that as a baseline for any future modifications. So that takes us to the last event of the year. Again, Willamette Motorsports Club. Yep. Yep. Autocross, this time at the Volcano Stadium in Kaiser. This course is tight and just tight enough that I'm always out of the power band, it seems. And this was really frustrating. Also, this 
pavement is super bumpy as you can tell. There's a lot of off-camber corners and gravel on the road. I didn't do terrible, however I did finish right in the middle of the pack. So from these three events, learning a lot about the car, learning what I need to fix, what I like, what I don't like. The setup is fantastic, however I'm always out of the power band in these slower speed um, slaloms and coming out of long sweepers. This is because of that high gear in the rear differential. In the off season, I'm going to switch it out to a 3.38 to 1 diff. And I have some other things planned. We'll catch that in the next video. I also need just more seat time. We can watch my hands and I'm shuffle steering and crossing over. Uh, overall, car has performed awesome. It did develop some lifter tick on this last run because everything's a left hand corner. Uh, I think just going to events with a quart over so I'm not running low on oil pressure during long sustained turns and we will be good. This was the last run and I believe my fastest of the last event of the season. In the off time I'm going to rip this apart, get some new performance parts on there and come back full force next year. Thanks again for following me on this journey. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, I have this build and then I have a Fiero that's under the knife getting a J-Series engine.